Hire American President Trump today ordering federal agencies to, to look at tightening the H-1B visa program. Right now, widespread abuse in our immigration system is allowing American workers of all backgrounds to be replaced by workers brought in from other countries to fill the same job for sometimes less pay. This will stop. This will stop. And joining me now to discuss the president's Buy American, Hire American, Executive First, the executive order today, an overhaul of the H-1B foreign worker visa system is Ron Hira, professor in public policy at Howard University. And professor, it's always good to see you. We've known each other and worked together uh, on this issue for, it seems like decades, but uh, 15, yeah. 20 years. Uh, th this is a president really making a difference uh, he is ordering uh, exactly the right things, in my opinion, uh, putting the American worker first. And we know that the H-1B the visa problem, if anything, President Trump understated the corruption that surrounds it. H-1B uh, programs have been abused by corporate America uh, and uh, technology companies for, uh, forever, it seems. Yeah, I mean, the typical use of the H-1B program is for cheaper indentured workers, and the, mo the top users are offshore outsourcing firms, most of them based in India. So you're actually shipping jobs overseas with these, yeah. with these visa programs. It's a scam and it's a scandal. And you and I have known about this for 15 years. Uh, Congress and multiple administrations have done nothing about it. Right. Uh, we just put up uh, the top uh, three, if you will, uh, outsourcers, Emphasis, uh, Cognizant, and Tata, uh, Indian companies, as you, as you point out. But uh, there are many, and corporate America has raised this to a new level uh, uh, of deception uh, and exploitation. Uh, for one thing, H-1B visas uh, are, are supposed to, to be skilled positions. We know three-fourths of the jobs are not, and they're not paid uh, within often 20 to 25 percent of the wages of American workers. This, is, this has got to stop, and, and I, I, I believe the president is, you, you don't believe he's doing enough. Yeah. Uh, I believe he sounded the alarm, and that's, that's terrific. What else does he need to do? Well, you've got to remember there's, there's a huge swamp here in Washington, and uh, there's tens of billions of dollars at stake. So he needs to be really forceful here because there's going to be opposition within his own party, even within his own administration, uh, to making the changes. And, and the changes, he's laid out this executive order, which is great, but really the devil's in the details and what the follow-up from the agencies will be, right? The details yeah. and the regulations. This is where the lobbyists make all their money, is writing those regulations and compliance, you know, lobbying it up, uh, writing complex language and things like that for loopholes. And that's mm -hmm. my concern, yeah. is will he be at this persistently to keep pushing it forward? Well, I, I hope so. I, I think that they have a number of people who can uh, deliver for the president here. I, I do know this. Uh, K Street owns so much of the congressional leadership uh, that uh, he won't have willing partners, as, we, as we've already seen demonstrated, uh, particularly when it comes to the Speaker of the House. Uh, even before the president was sworn in, though, he brought in the top CEOs. He's got a bully pulpit. He can, he can affect a lot of change here as well, can he? Oh, he can make a lot of change, both in terms of the agencies, but even on Capitol Hill. He can push his legislative agenda, use the bully pulpit. And it's an interesting mm -hmm. uh, coalition. This is the kind of executive order and legislation that uh, Bernie Sanders would support, that Dick Durbin, mm -hmm. uh, number two senator, Democratic senator uh, from Illinois, supports, as well as Chuck Grassley. Uh, so this is kind of a different coalition. This is the America First coalition, the populist coalition uh, mm -hmm. across both parties. You got it. Well, it would be nice to see it work that way. The Democrats have not shown exactly a great enthusiasm for rational support of uh, important public policy to this uh, juncture. We'll see how they do.